Did you know that you can control up to four computers with just one keyboard and mouse without buying expensive gadgets? Oh yes, in this video, I will show you how you could do this for free by using an app called Mouse Without Border. Hello guys, you're welcome and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year everyone, how are you guys doing? all right so if today is your first time seeing me i'm rebecca you're welcome on board all right and i do lifestyle content vlogs and things like that yeah and to my amazing and returning subscribers thank you for always being there for me and i wish every one of us a wonderful new year and i pray that god <laughs> that the, the best that God has for his children will be our portion this year. In Jesus' name, amen. So recently, I got a new laptop. And of course, I'm still using my old laptop. So navigating through these laptops became like an issue to me. It was like stressful to me. So I had to look for a solution okay all right so in my search for a solution i came across this wonderful app that i am about to talk to you about okay so i've written down certain things about this and i'll be explaining them to you i'll walk you through how to use it and also at the end of the day show you the practice or the practical steps on how to use it. I hope that sounds good, right? Okay, so let's dive into it. So the name of the app is Mounds Without Border. So what is Mounds Without Border? Mounds Without Border is a free program developed by Microsoft Garage that allows you to control multiple computers with a single keyboard and mouse and the keyboard and mouse could be wired or they could be wireless any one of them can go steps in getting this app installed on your phone the first one is you have to go to the official website to get it downloaded and the website will be in my description the second one is download the app and install the app in each of the computer all right so on the primary computer which is the first computer and i would say the primary computer is um the computer or the laptop that you are connecting your receiver if you are using a wireless mouse and keyboard is the computer that you are connecting the receiver to then if you are using a wired keyboard and mouse, it is the computer that you are connecting the wires to or the cable to. Yeah, if that is, if that makes sense, that is the primary computer. And another thing I will advise is make sure that computer is a high performing computer because it will be like the one coordinating the activities um, of all the computers connected to this network. So on the primary computer, click no on the getting started guide to generate a security pin. All right. Then on the other computers, if you are using two, three or four, me, I'm using two. So on the other computer, you have to download it, accept the, for the two of them, of course, you will accept the whatever then on this other computer you have to click on yes then you will click on yes in the getting started guide remember the first one you click no why these other ones you are going to click yes then the first one will generate a security code and the name of the computer so you copy that security code and put it on the second computer if that makes sense then you click on link 
next then done then you adjust your um setting to your taste like the arrangement of the monitors there's a way it comes since there are four monitors um they are arranged you can either be arranged on a straight line or they could be arranged two 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 down two on top of them so it depends on what you want if you want them to be on a straight line or you want them to be above each other so if you are using two two of the computers will be highlighted if you are using three the three will be highlighted if you are using the four computers the four will be highlighted so you just do your connections and you are good to go things to note about this application is a one make sure all the computers are connected to the same network the second one is the network must be strong if not you will experience some lagging okay speaking from my own point of view um my network is pretty good but once in a while it's a once in a while thing you know at times the network can be fluctuating yeah so i have experienced once in a while that lagging on the other computer yeah but if the co if the network is nice um it will just be seamless the network the the flow from one computer to the other will just be um seamless will just be smooth it will be going so well the third one is use the highest performing computer as the primary computer because it will be the one to coordinate all the other computer in this network in the mouse without border network and i've said that the primary computer is the first computer you are downloading the software into and you have to click no it is also the one that you have to put in your receiver or your cable you have to connect it to that primary computer just make sure that um it is the high it is a high performing computer if it is possible so that you can have a seamless control of the computers the pros of this application is that one it is free the test part of this application is that it is free mm? everybody loves free thing right yeah so the first one is that it is absolutely free the second one is that it is easy to set up it is very 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 easy to set up just read through the information there and uh, setting it up would be as easy as eating your favorite food mm -hmm. all right the third one is you can use it to copy and paste in between computer you have a com an information here you want to paste it here you can just use your mouse oh yeah like your normal copy and paste you lift it from this computer and you paste it in the other computer very easy all right you can also drag and drop drag file from one computer to the next one you can a whole lot as you are using it you are you discover certain things that um you know that you can use it for or use it with all right the the fifth one is you have seamless control <laughs> i mean you have seamless control over your computer and it is a sweet experience before i got i came across this this application i used to have headache at the point i started changing the receiver from my new computer to the old one so that i could get certain things done but i know that it is not sustainable and I, at a point i'm going to spoil the pots the receiver ports changing this from this one i just know and it was draining ah god it was draining to be sincere i had to like let me look for a way out yeah before i discovered this amazing app <laughs> i'm so excited about this app honestly it has made my activity working on my systems to be sweet to be seamless honestly <laughs> it only has one which is it only works on windows computers 
since it is produced by Microsoft, it can only be used by um, Windows computers. So if you are not a user of Windows computer, sorry, <laughs> this information might not be that important to you, but you could tell your neighbors, your friend, your colleague that are using Windows computers so that their life could be so easy. I've come across certain people that they are using two, three, four computers and you will see them using more than one mouse. I was like, it, it's really it's really not like a nice experience. You see the wires up and down, especially those mouse and keyboard that are wired. You see the wires up and down trying to move, you know. But with this one, all of that is nothing. <laughs> it's not something you experience. Your table will just be so neat because you just have one mouse and one keyboard to be serving all of your computers. Isn't that nice? At some point, because I've been using this application for like um, six, seven weeks here and I've experienced some things about it. Especially that aspect that talks about um, the lagging when the, the network is fluctuating or the network is not that strong. You are going to start having experiencing lagging on the computers and which is the other computer not the primary computer because since the receiver and the cable is connected to the primary computer you could easily use it okay but the issue now is the lagging now comes with the other computer from my experience at times when the network is not that strong when it's fluctuating, okay? When you put on the second computer, it might not pick. Of course, the computer is working well, but this application might not pick up immediately. So what you have to do is that you will go on your keyboard. If you are using laptop, it's better. You go on your keyboard, then you click, you press um, Control, Alt, and M key. You Press them together and that will like activate that dialog box where you will see um the computers arranged and you just just follow the instruction on the screen and it's tell you what to do. What you just need to do is just to link them together again because that other computer disconnected because of the um issue with the network. Either the network was not good or it was fluctuating at that time so you when you click these three keys it will bring up the dialog box and what you just need to do is link it or connect it then you apply it and it will work again and so i've shown you how to do it so i'm going to take you over to the system and also show you how you can easily do that so see you on the other side.